Hi, my chocolate covered pickles. This is the Valentine's Day candy confessional booth. It is now open. And the reason it was delayed a day and not held on the 15th, but rather today, February 16th, is because I wanted you to really, really be able to say what it was that you did for Valentine's Day. Did you partake in some candy that isn't on your food plan? And you suffered through it? You thought it was going to be good, but your brain lit up, and then you had to have a little bit more, and then you had to have a little bit more, and then comes Tuesday, the day after Valentine's Day, or excuse me, Wednesday, the day after Valentine's Day, and you still have some left. And there's a need to get rid of it. Is it going to be by trash with things like coffee grounds on top of it? And maybe some cat food um, containers or dog food containers turned upside down so it, it uh, drips onto them? Or is it by still eating the candy? Why? Because your brain is still lit up and it's saying, feed me, feed me. And you have this thing going on in your head that says, okay, I'll just finish this and hop right back onto my food plan, no matter what it is. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, um, <clears throat> vegan, vegetarian, keto, keto with carbs under 20, low carb, high fat, simply filling, any of the many, many, Weight Watchers, any of the many, many food plans that are out there. Do you think that you... Um, do you think that it was okay for you to step out of your food plan and just go ahead and have that stuff? I know, I know, I know, I know, it's tempting. I know, I'm human. I, I live in the United States of America where Hallmark is a billion dollar holiday. I know how it all feels. I know how it all looks. I know how it all used to be for me. And fortunately, I set my sights on my ribeye steak with my organic green beans and organic baby spinach to look forward to rather than having that. Sure, it's a pull. Sure, it's tempting. But I have the FOMO, not the fear of missing out on Valentine candy or cake or any of those things, but I have the fear of missing out of the continuing momentum of my keto carbs under 20 food plan. And I didn't want to have to come back to you guys and report that I caved. There were a couple of moments that were weakened, but momentum, once you start doing it day by day by day, it really becomes something treasured that if you give it up, well, you know how that feels if you've ever had a failure in a food plan that you were trying to lose weight with before. And so now... Here we are in 2017, and you don't want to do that again, do you? Do, you, do you, you know the results, right? Once you break that momentum, it's more than just having the food and thinking that the next day you can hop back on, because your brain has been messed with, and your brain starts telling you things, and you start getting, getting and finding disappointment in the fear of missing out. And what is that? sugar and grains, processed foods, CREP, all the chemicals that are more addictive probably than cocaine and heroin combined. Why? Because we have to eat. <laughs> you, you'll be okay if you don't have heroin or crack cocaine or alcohol, but you need to eat. And so there's a lot of peacemaking that needs to go on and it's on an individual basis. I can have something that maybe you can't have. I think I'm not allergic to dairy. I'm not having it in abundant amounts. I usually just have cheese, rarely. Cream cheese, maybe every day. Heavy whipping cream in my coffee and butter. And that's it. I'm not having um, other types of um, whiteners in my coffee. I'm not having cottage cheese or yogurt anymore. So anyway, it's one of those deals. So 
I hope that you are not in the confessional booth with me admitting that you had something, but if you did, I'd like you to, you know, really look deep into your heart and, and say, tell me, was it worth it? You know, and I don't mean it in a snarky, um, sarcastic way. I mean, was it truly worth it? Did it kill something, a little bit of a craving that wasn't getting um, tamped down um, and now you're able to really, really move on from it? You know, artificial sweeteners have the same effect and maybe even worse. They just don't do enough studies on it because who's going to pay for the studies? You know, Coca-Cola pays for all the studies to tell you that all these things are okay. <laughs> of course they do. They don't want to lose their big market, but they've also branched out into tons and tons of fruit juices and sports drinks and even waters um, just to keep their profit margin high. But what's going to work for you is not going to work for everybody else. But coming to these conclusions is a long journey. And if you're doing keto and you're doing keto under 20, you've made an awful lot of sacrifices along the way already. And if you still have a sweet tooth after doing keto under 20 with plenty of healthy, healthy, good for you fats and um, limited amounts of fresh, hopefully organic veggies, then something might be triggering you. Maybe it's the artificial sweeteners that you're still having. Um, you know, when I began to do keto, it was one, because I love fats, and two, because I wanted to kill, yes, kill, my sugar craving. I wanted it to go away forever, and slowly it did, and my cravings became fat and oils that were good for me. Buying grass-fed organic um, uh, proteins, animal proteins, and having great butters and great oils and um, from terrific places and giving up all those other not healthy for you oils like soybean, safflower, cotton, canola, and things like that that are just filled with the omega-6s. Looking, uh, looking more for a blend of 6 to 3 and then more 3s added onto that. So the, the ratio is something that's healthy for me and not um, damaging still because the damage of um, omega-6s is, is palpable. It does show. And so you want to have enough omega-3s to cover that up. So how did you do over Valentine's Day? Did you succumb or were you able to squint at something and anybody that was going to give you something that you shouldn't have already knew? My girlfriend gave me a little, a little plant, and <clears throat> she makes candies for um, holidays, and she gave Greg a chocolate lollipop. And it was specific on the card um, that the lollipop is for Greg, because she knows me, and she knows that I'll get more enjoyment out of my plant, no, I didn't eat it, and that Greg will eat the lollipop, and he'll be happy. And it was nice to be recognized as a couple from her. And so that was sweet. And um, I even went to the car wash, and they were giving out long-stemmed roses to everybody. I, I, I smiled. That was about 2 in the afternoon, and I smiled the rest of my waking hours. What a sweet thought. And um, so it was a good day for me. I wasn't pulled into the candies. Um, Greg had his share of them. I did not give him candy. Um, in the old days, I would have had cake. I would have had Fudge. I'm a fudge preferer, um, and those two have always been my downfalls with ice cream pulling in um, more like a second because I didn't have Panucci in the house. It was always like a treat if I went someplace like Martha's Vineyard or Provincetown. So whatever food plan you're on, I bet sugar isn't one of the allowable things. And I'm sure that, sugar, that artificial sweeteners are used as a crutch, as a bridge to getting someplace. Think of them as that, a crutch and a bridge, not a lifetime. I have three Splendas in my coffee every day, no matter what. Know that these things aren't good for you. Know that it's a better bad choice, BBC, which I haven't talked about here for a long time if you're new to my channel, but BBCs are crutches and bridges to totally giving them up. A Diet Cola, a Splenda, a NutraSweet, a, an Equal, 
anything like that that's artificially sweetened and um, sometimes artificially flavored. All of those um, syrups I see for keto people getting pumps of it at um, coffee places as well as having their um, <laughs> their collection of bottles at home and um, those things I treated as uh, well I never had the artificial sweeteners in my coffee um, I always had either the real thing or the xyla that I have now in a minimal amount but those things should be treated as crutches and bridges to a sugar sugar sugar-free, artificial sugar-free um, lifestyle because there's nothing good about them either. Um, either either one of them but if you need them to get you through to another place but once you start having enough healthy fats and eating a, a pure 20 carbs and under keto lifestyle you should stop the cravings. Not should but I mean the cravings you know should go away. That was part of the purpose for me and um, when I was on Weight Watchers, you bet I love the grains and the artificial sugars and the CRAP, um, the frozen novelties and the little um, protein bars and the, you know, 100 calorie or fewer um, breads and things like that. Those things just kept me lit up like a Christmas tree. And I didn't want to be that way anymore. I knew that that stuff was still addictive to me. And my only thing that, that really... Um, quells my cravings is my fathead pizza and that's about as close as I get to a um, a processed food as it were having the almond meal pizza and um, and that keeps me safe um, from other cravings and uh, cavings right so I hope that you aren't here as a confessional attendee that you are here with the fear of missing out of your momentum to share with us or if you do need to tell the truth, tell the truth, track it, look at it, feel it, and move on. That's all we can do, right? I mean, if you ate it two days ago, and it's, you know, now it's Thursday, oh well, it's gone. But did you learn anything from it? That's the point. It's the behaviors that we work on here at this Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20 channel. The behaviors that lead us to slip and fall and relapse right it's what triggered you to do that to make that decision and to not use some of the tools that we talk about here well <laughs> i went on and on time to stop time to get out of my day thanks so much for watching my little pickles chocolate covered i will see you the next time thanks so much for watching bye bye for now